ladies and gentlemen, to our final match of this evening. I am proud to present you with the match this evening, your boy Psychonautic in the booth bringing you some casting and i'm joined again by the same guy that joined me last time because we brought such fire to the booth together sea biscuit how are you doing my dude i'm here for the spicy and meatballs oh that's <laughs> good because i think we're gonna have quite a bit tonight in the prospect league we're gonna round it out jaguars versus velocity now jaguars have had one of the roughest starts in a season uh, oh and four they haven't been able to bag a win yet unfortunately but velocity on the other hand has had quite the opposite as they're currently the number one team in power rankings haven't only taken one loss so far so what do you know about this situation see this is well, I know Jaguars is definitely a good team with Trizzy Cliffs and my homie Control Alt Elite uh, from Season 1 Wyverns. It's my boy. Um, and they're definitely a really good team and a fierce, a fierce opponent for this velocity team to deal with. But we did, during our pre-season, pre-draft tryouts, try out Milk for sure. And I think one other player on the team. I can never get his name right, so I'm just not even going to try to botch it. Um, but Milk, I know, is a very solid player, someone that my captain, C Money, really wanted on the team, but we had better options at the time. And I'm pretty sure we watched an upset just one, just the other day, you and me casting. So our casting curse is Upset City. I think that Jaguars better be afraid that you and me were put on the casting desk for this <laughs> one. Yeah, that might be very true. And I know Velocity just recently made some, or no, not Velocity, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, no, it was Velocity that just made some roster moves. Didn't they Didn't they just pick up I Fear the Beard? That is very true. I, I'm bad at the first GM. Yeah, I'm really bad at the transactions. So, yeah, I think that is what happened. And you, and you mentioned Milk. I've played with Milk, and that boy goes hard in the paint. But then again, you know, like you said, control the elite. We've seen him go crazy, and Grizzard too. He has a reputation of getting things done on the pitch. Yep, I think it has any prospect game to come out down to, though, at the end of the day, it, uh, it's about who shows up and who plays better, right? We don't expect perfect uh, consistency out of the prospect league, and it's not a shot at them, but one team could show up and one team could not any night. That's the exciting part to me of every prospect match. Is there's no guarantees for any team one through ten in the power rankings. So ten can't beat one, or one can't lose to seven, anything like that. You know? So that's really exciting. It makes it really fun because you never know the outcome for sure. Yeah, I think we're on the same page there. I totally agree with that statement. <clears throat> that's that is the the biggest thing is inconsistency. Inconsistency, and I know in my play style personally that's pretty much the same thing which is why i even drop from prospect to novice because my consistency rate is so high no you were you were just trying to farm championships <laughs> that's you're, what you're, you're now the resident sandbagger i used to be <laughs> last season but you're you're now the sandbagger dropping the novice like that i love it i'm loving it oh man and I'm not sure what we're waiting on. I believe we are ready to get the players going on the pitch. Everybody looks in the lobby. Yep, here we go. Jaguars going to be running Cliffs, Control, Alt, Elite, and Drizzard. While Velocity is going to be starting off with Dan, Milk, and Tobitage. And we are going to get into this game one. Velocity versus Jaguars. The kickoff coming straight live. Tobitage is going to take control of it out the gate, put it up to Dan, who's going to put it out to the mid. Milk is there. He gets a bad touch on it, though, sadly, as it pops up. Cliff is going to take it off the back wall. Dan is going to keep the pressure. A little bit of a fake coming out there, or a miss that turned out to be a fake. Milk is going to touch it to the side. Cliff is going to put it on. It's back. Control it elites up, but he doesn't get the touch he's looking for. Milk finds it in the corner, tries to find a second touch. He's going to slow it down, get it on his car, get the flick. That's on, and that is in. And what great control here by Milk to recognize the space he had, realize he's in a 1v1 with Cliffs, and just show him, boy, I will flick you like a booger. 
watch out, and he gets himself the first goal of the series. <laughs> Damn, like a booger. That is a flick right there. I know I've gotten some distance on a few myself. <laughs> Boogers or flicks? Um, flicking boogers. <laughs> Cliffs with a good save right there. Milk trying to go up with an early two-point lead, but no, sir. Cliffs is going to come in with another one right there. Put it down for Control, but Control misses his touch. Milk's going to get the save. As the ball's up, Cliffs trying to get it again, but Milk's going to tear it down. Control keeping the pressure. Tobotage. In the corner, tries to get it past, but Drizzard's going to keep it. He tries to put it in front of the net. He does. Control is there. He gets a weak touch on it. Milk's going to easily clear that thing away. That's a pretty close one right there. I got to admit, Seabiscuit, Jaguars kind of needed it. And Jaguars definitely needed that shot, and I think they just need to really incorporate a few more passes like that. It's been a lot of solo plays and one-man attacks here by the Jaguars squad, and that was their first real passing attempt, and it may have ended in a slow roller, but at least they threatened the net somewhat. Ooh, looks like might have a little bit of something happening as Dan was just sitting there, letting let the ball just whiz past him. Oh my goodness, but he turned around and somehow, I'm not exactly sure what's going on right now, Seabiscuit. <laughs> Dan just reading the touch by Cliffs there, and Great patience, good shot, especially coming out of a third man as he has proclaimed himself. Really good shot there to take control and just really own Cliffs uh, in that 1v1 situation. I mean, did you see what happened before? It looked like he was just sitting in the net and the ball rolled past him, dinked off of the corner, and then he just took it and shoved it down their throats. I'm not, he I'm still him, kind of. He hit him with the creeping snake. Uh, maneuver it's where you act like you're slow and not fast and then you just crank it up to full speed and the other team is just surprised like a snake curled up ready to attack oh dang is that like a steam workshop pack yeah yeah it's by uh that squashy muffins guy squashy muffins i'm loving it <laughs> oh control elite is gonna go ahead and try and get this in the corner he misses his touch but he ends up faking toby cliffs with the big save as milk sends a heater in the ball's gonna get bounced by Cliff off of the top of Tobitage. Milk having to make a save. The ball's wide, but Dan's going to make a touch. Milk's going to follow off the wall. We see as he slows it down. He gets a fake on one. Tries to get it past Control, but Control smashes it. Dan, off the back wall, pops it up. He's going to go for the second touch, but Drizzard is up there. He's going to get it. Drizzard with another one. Missing, but Milk is going to put it on the sidewall. Milk going to slow it down. Try and get it to Toby almost as he crossed to the mid, but Toby just barely missed it. And we're seeing a lot. Oh my goodness, Velocity Milk coming in and slamming it home. And Velocity is doing a great job right now, not allowing the Jaguars team any clears. The Jaguars team is just struggling to get the ball anywhere out of their half. And Velocity capitalizing on the vice grip that they're currently putting around this jaguars team yeah i was just about to say as they scored that goal that we're seeing an immense amount of pressure come out velocity and jaguars is barely able to even touch the ball the ball is going to be up drizzard they're going to bounce the ball he's not going to follow it they're going to leave it for velocity milk's going to take it but cliffs came in for the pressure toby is going to touch it off the back wall down to milk milk sends it over dan He's going to come off the sidewall with it. He's going to try and follow it. He gets a second touch. Can he get it past Drizzard with a big save? Toby trying to clean it up, but Control is going to get another save. And I got to give credit to the Jaguars here, Sea Biscuit, as they're not generating a lot of offensive pressure, but they sure are getting a lot of saves. Yeah, five saves on, what, eight shots. I mean, they're definitely churning away a lot of shots, and defense is great, but they really need to find a way to churn those great saves and the great counterattacks, or they're just going to keep floundering around their net until they're out of boost, and the vice grip, as we've already brought up, just keeps getting tighter when it happens to you. That's some awfully big facts right there. You can't win a ball game with absolutely no offense. Milk's going to generate some offense of his own, but Drizzard is going to be there going to get a big clear on it. Toby is going to hit it in the midfield down to Drizzard. Drizzard is going to stick with it, but Dan is going to take it, ping-pong it back and forth in between the two that in between the two teams. 
is Milk is going to leave it. Sees control, puts it on the backboard. Milk touches it. Goes to get it out. You can tell that Velocity is really just winding down the clock, knowing that it's practically impossible at this point for Jaguars to bring it back. What do you think, Biscuit going into game two, Jaguars got to change? I think they just need to capitalize on the very few mistakes that Velocity is making. I mean, I know it's asking a lot, but there were a few mistakes in there by Velocity that Jaguars had a chance to capitalize on. They just weren't able to turn them in. Example A, Elite's uh, slow roller in front of net. I think if they can capitalize on some of those things, they have a chance to win uh, this. And for the flip, Velocity, I think they just got to keep doing what they're doing. They're just asserting dominance and really putting it to this Jaguars team. Yeah, I definitely agree with you there. Every time Milk touches the ball, you can t see he like consciously slows down and tries to take control of the ball to do something with it. Whereas a lot of the Jaguars, it seems like they're just touching the ball to sort of, you know, get it out of the zone that that they're in, or to just move it, just to move it. Yeah, quality touches are a very important part of this series for sure. And we are going to get now into the action game number two. Velocity being up 1-0 in the series, best of five. As Milk and Control are going to be on the kickoff. Dan's there. He cheated up. He missed a shot. But Toby's there to clean it up, and he gets it. Yeah, and just a really great touch here by Dan. I mean, you're expecting a shot there. It's Cliffs, but it's just a great touch to the backboard. And... The ball slips right behind Elite's poop shoot, and uh, the goal <laughs> goes out of it. It's always bad when you sneak behind the poop shoot. Got to be careful of that. <laughs> As Milk is going to miss his second touch, but Drizzard, Drizzard's going to take control. Toby going to take it away from him, but Control's going to keep it up. Dan touching the midfield down to Cliffs, who sends it across to Control. Controls tips it up. Drizzard's, Drizzard is up for it, gets a touch, but doesn't go where he's wanting it. Cliffs on the backboard. He's going to slow it down, try and 50 past Milk, but is unable to. Drizzard's going to have to pick it up in the midfield. Toby comes off of the sidewall, but Control is able to knock it away. Dan keeping the pressure for Velocity. Cliffs is going to send it out with a boomer clear. Milk on the sidewall, down back to Drizzard. As this ball is just ping point ping-ponging in the midfield. Neither team is able to really generate much pressure right now, Seabiscuit. Yeah, it's a lot back and forth, you know. We're watching ping-pong, as you said. I mean, neither team really getting good looks, just sending the ball high to the ceiling, but no player yet has been able to make a quality read off any of these high balls and take a shot. We're at coming up on a minute 30 gone only one team able to score velocity being up 1-0 in the series um in the series and in the game as a matter of fact game two cliffs trying to make something happen but dan's going to send it back out of his defensive zone he's going to put in in center milk is there but he's a little bit wide toby coming in trying to make something happen but cliffs is going to clear it out dan's waiting sends it up the sidewall but control sends it back Toby sends it all the way down. Dan is there for the redirect. Oh, that was a very close one. It almost hit the top 90, but it was just wide off the crossbar. Drizzard puts one on. Dan is able to get in front of it and knock it down. The ball rolls up. Toby's going to send it out to the mid. Drizzard's waiting. That could have been dangerous, but his shot was wide. Cliff's keeping the pressure for Jaguars. They're only down by one at this point, Seabiscuit. It's still, oh my gosh, as I say that, Dan <laughs> with a breakaway goal. And Dan showing a lot of mechanics here in these essentially 1v1 situations. Just reads Drizzard's churn almost immediately and takes a shot. And I don't think I don't think Drizzard had a chance to save that pretty much at that point. Like that ball was a boomer right to the bottom left, right over his head. Just sad watching it. Hearing the Titanic theme song in his head, and all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a sad song. And Jaguars are going to be even more sad if they drop this game too. Having putting themselves in the situation of having a reverse sweep is never ideal. Dan is up. He's going to make the defensive touch. Drizzard's going to keep the pressure. As they 50 the ball in the midfield. Milk is going to send it down. Cliffs is going to get the touch in the midfield. 
Trying to get it past Dan. He isn't able to get it over as Dan makes a stop. Milk going to get the pinch. This could be dangerous as the ball is up. Is anybody there? Dan's there, but Cliff with a really big save for his team right there. Only two minutes left, though. Jaguars got to figure something out here, Sea Biscuit. Yeah, they got to figure something out because, I mean, Velocity is just setting up a tent right now. They might as well be camping on their half on uh, Jaguars' half of the field, and it's just leading to so much pressure and all these open net looks, and right there could have been a goal if Tobotage doesn't hit it away from Dan. It's just so much pressure. It hurts. And they're like a pressure cooker. <laughs> oh, man. That's definitely got to be tense for the players on on Jaguars. You know they got to be gripping their controllers. Something fierce at this point. It's Cliffs trying everything that he can to generate some, some pressure for his team. Drizzard is going to miss his ball in the backfield. This could be dangerous. They might get punished, but luckily Cliffs is up. Oh, no, that's still center, but Drizzard's going to send it away. Control gets a touch on it, finds a second touch to the mid. It lands straight on Milk. Milk's going to get it past one of the defenders, get it past two, get it past three, and Tobotage is going to be there for the cross. And there's that pressure surmounting. I mean, at some point, you're going to make a mistake, and Velocity, Velocity capitalizes on that state. Gr mistake state. Ugh. And great control by Milk to get that ball mid in the first place, really just doing it all himself. All Tobotage had to do was not screw it up. And... Tobotage did not screw it up. Milk almost able to sneak a fourth goal in there with only 50 seconds left on the clock. Velocity being up three to nothing. It's almost looking like we might have another sweep on our hands if Jaguars aren't able to pull something together in this game three that we're going to be coming up on in around 30 seconds. The ball's up. Dan is going to try and find it. He does. He sends it over. That's the angle. Oh, my goodness. That's a spicy meatball, Sea Biscuit. Oh, that is a real spicy one. Great touch by Dan. A really impressive shot. And I mean, you can't ask Cliffs to save that. You can't ask most Hydra, I mean, Hydra, <laughs> rival players to save something like that. That is an amazing shot there by Dan. Definitely clip worthy for sure. Out here looking good as he totes the third man tag. Personally, oh my goodness. He's coming in with another cross, and Toby is going to stack another goal giving him a hat trick for this evening it's a rain and goals <laughs> yeah it's rain and goals the floodgates are definitely open right now all that pressure definitely just too much now for the jaguars and they gotta hope to turn this around at this point going into game three all the way to five definitely definitely you, you i know personally whenever i'm in this situation and I know the game's going to be a wash. I just try not to let it get under my skin any further so I can just move on to the next goal and hopefully have a clean slate. But Jaguars are definitely going to be fighting the uphill battle of a reverse sweep at this point. And it is an uphill battle that is possible. I mean, we've seen it before in Nemesis, even on stream. Reverse sweeps happen. Oh, I'm yeah. not saying this is one, but I think Jaguars, there is a chance that they can just get out of their half and really flip the script on Velocity and put pressure on because Velocity on defense, I mean, they only had one save. Granted, Jaguars only had one shot. Um, but on defense, they're not as clean as their offensive rotation. There is something there I think I think Jaguars could take advantage of. It's just can they get out of their their half and take advantage of that situation. Yeah, I think I, I I'm I'm gonna agree with you there. Uh, I think from what I've seen and what I know about the Jaguars players, you know, there's definitely potential for them to get something done here. Um, but you know, one thing we may not be considering is that that they might just be lacking in in the much needed chemistry. You know, the very elusive chemistry that sort of comes and goes at some of the oddest times, at least in my experience. Come and go. It is rough when it goes, though. It sucks when the chemistry's gone. Most definitely. And we're going to get into this game three. Velocity being up by two now. Sitting on the match point situation. They only have to win this to go home with a sweep tonight. Hopefully, Jaguars are able to pull something out and take us at least to a game four, if possibly not a game five. We need the content. We love the content. And we want to bring you beautiful people as much Rocket League as we can. A single night as Dan is going to make a good save. Control to leap puts one on net. 
Dan is going to 50, but it's not going to work out in his favor. Luckily, Milk was back, able to make that save. Milk's going to try and follow it. He sends it down to Toby, but it gets knocked away. Control at Elite playing, trying to play more aggressive than we've seen in the last two games, which might be the move that they need. Cliff is going to put on the backboard. Control on Elite is there. He's not able to put it on net, though. It's unfortunate. It's Toby's going to take it down the field. He gets the bump on Cliffs. That could have been dangerous, but the ball was not on. Cliffs is going to miss his clear off the off the back ball, but back wall, but Drizzard's there to help his team out. Control all the lead. Trying to get it out. But Velocity is starting to apply that pressure that we have been seeing. Oh my goodness, Tobitaj is going to miss, but Dan is going to come in. Clean it up as the third man and do exactly what he needs to do, Seabiscuit. I love seeing stuff like that. Yeah, but on the flip, I do like that first minute and a half we've had here for the Jaguars. I mean, at least a minute of it, they've been in Velocity's half, and that's exactly what they need to do to give themselves a chance. They can't sit back right now and let these Velocity players have all the pressure. They just need to keep going. Eventually, the dam will break, and they will get a goal. It's just if they can stick with it long enough before their dam gives out. Most definitely, and hopefully we're going to see that sooner rather than later. Two minutes having elapsed already, but neither team. Milk is going to, oh, almost there for the double, and Tobitaj almost able to clean it up. Dan put it off the back wall, still dangerous. Milk was there, but Control making some good saves, not allowing his dam to crack. No, <laughs> no balls is going to get through his concrete walls at this point. Cliffs making the uh, 50. Drizzard. Is going to send it out. Toby is going to find it in his half. Try and get it past. Cliffs gets the touch. That's up. That's dangerous. Can Drizzer make the touch? He misses, but everybody else missed as well. Control is going to come in for the clear. That's up. Milk with the touch. Drizzer is going to 50, but it looked like a bit of a triple commit. Doesn't look like they're going to get punished too hard for it, though. Cliffs is able to get back. The ball is going to float. Cliffs is going to get the second touch. Milk's going to miss his touch. It's off the back wall. Somebody could be up for this. Toby. Drizzard is going to send, keep the pressure for Jaguars. Two minutes left on the clock. They need something here. They need to get some momentum so they can control this game and start mounting their comeback for the, the reverse sweep. What are you seeing, Seabiscuit? What's going on at this point? A lot of really good opportunities so far by the Jaguars. They've put a lot of pressure on and just been half car lengths and millimeters away from finishing some of these goals and open nets that they provided for themselves and they really need to capitalize here soon just to really give themselves a chance and oh what a save by Tobitaj. Tobitaj with an epic clutch save right there. His Jaguars were almost able to go up by one. Seeing way more pressure from the Jaguars right here. Oh and Drizzard is going to come in and knock it in the lower 90. Finally putting Jaguars on the board. And it took four and a half minutes, but eventually they got a double commit out of this Velocity team, and Drizzard able to clean up the goal and get a lead, their first lead of the series, I'm pretty sure. And that's a good way to start a reverse sweep right there. Be up one nothing, two nothing. <laughs> and it's going to be two nothing as, <laughs> as Jaguars are going to come in and get an easy goal off of the kickoff. Quite unfortunate. You hate to see that type of situation. Um, but it, it does happen, and um, Jaguars is going to take it. Take it all every day of the week, for sure. Every day. I ain't even going to be salty about it. There's one minute left on the clock. Jaguars up by two, looking like they're going to be able to take this game three and push us into a game four. <clears throat> As Toby's going to miss his touch, but Milk is there to help him out. Toby's going to take control of it, try and take it up the wall. Cliffs tries to come in and mess some stuff up gets him pulled off the ball as drizzard's going to come in and take control of it or knock it down milk finds it off his back wall control elite got baited into it the ball is going to fly out and back into the jaguars defensive zone milk's going to get it past one of the defenders control elite is able to stop it but toby is going to 50 and keep the pressure cliffs Gets a booming clear, and it's sent all the way down. Control all the lead. It's going to find a touch out of the corner. Milk is going to get it up over Drizzard. But Toby's going to take control of it. Cliffs with a 50, and it pinches to the mid. This could be dangerous off the back, ball, back wall. 
Drizzard, able to find the 50. Oh, he almost finds the touch and it got saved away. Milt, all it has to do is touch the ground. Control Elite sends it up. Could this be on? I think that's off, but Control Elite almost got there too. Jeez. And the ball's going to touch. Jaguar is going to take this. Game three. And that's a big pride game right there for the Jaguars. I mean, you're an old 4 t and playing against Velocity, I think, is number one in power rankings right now. I, correct me if yeah. I'm wrong. I, I, no, I think you're right. So you're pretty much 10 versus one here. And coming out on stream and getting swept, it's a real pride herder. So bare minimum, if they don't win this next one, even though I would love to see it because content... <laughs> they don't they get to walk away with pride knowing they were able to steal a game and at least have something to build off of knowing all right when we don't play like chickens and hide in our net we can actually compete with really good teams and if they can keep that up into this game four they could have a real good chance here at this reverse sweep if they can really keep the pressure because i think they spent about four minutes of that game on the other team's half most definitely, yeah. That was impressive to be able to see him play like that. We've been waiting to see Jaguars play like that the whole series. They were able to pull it out this game, so hopefully we'll, they'll they'll carry that momentum into this game four as we're going to get into it. But, you know, Velocity, they might have not have been ready for it, but, you know, that doesn't mean they're not going to be ready for it right now. I'm definitely excited to see if Velocity is able to adapt to what the Jaguars just started doing right there. Yeah. Adapt and overcome. That's the name of the game, and they're adapting. Now let's see if they can start overcoming. As it looks like we might have a bit of a technical issue. It looks like maybe somebody might not be able... Okay, it looks like we are good now, and we've got everybody on the pitch. We're starting this off. Game number four, I believe, right? Game number four? Don't game correct four. me if I'm wrong. Okay, good, because I've gotten that wrong. Yes, numbers are very, very hard. Cliffs. He's going to find it at the back wall. Ooh, Drizzard was there. He got a shot, but it's got cleared away immediately. Milk finds it in the corner, touches it, tries to get down to it, but Cliffs is going to catch it, send it back into the corner. Can he find it again? No, he doesn't, but he does find the demo on Tobotage. Control. Up to Milk. Milk sends it out. Drizz is going to find it in the midfield, send it cross. Oh, that was actually a shot, but Drizzard was, or Tobitage, excuse me, was able to get there and stop it. Control, can't find his touch off the wall, but Drizzard does find it. Over to Dan, Dan with a weird 50, over to Cliffs. Cliffs is up, can Cliffs double this? Milk is going to clear that away off the back wall. That is a big old clear right there. The ball is going to come to the mid. Dan is going to get hit by Drizzard, good bump. Control is going to clear it over to Milk. Milk trying to get control of it. It's going to get pinched all the way to the other side as the ball's bouncing in the midfield. Drizzard finds an awkward touch on it with his booty. Control sending it over. Toby with a pop. As we're seeing a lot right now of what we saw in the last game, Seabiscuit, is these teams are just sort of ping ponging back and forth, neither one being able to really get. Um, a good offense generated. Yeah, the boss is living in the midfield right now, and just one unfortunate 50 for either team one way, and it could be a goal that could either put one team up towards this reverse sweep or one team down and on match point. Oh, Ooh. my. Woo. Milk, you dirty Sheesh. dog. Sheesh, as you kids like to say nowadays. Well, it was a, it looked like a pinch from right there, and then Milk waiting for that redirect, just narrowly getting it past the defender. Holy. That's going to put Velocity up 1-0, which is going to be got to be a pretty daunting thing for Jaguars. Jaguars putting it in. Control of Elite able to clean up the the pass from Drizzard. Yeah, and this is just a I don't want to lose type of play style right now by this Jaguars team. I mean, they're just fully committing to any offensive opportunity, and they're capitalizing like we said they needed to do in the first two games. And they tie this game right back up. We'll see if they can keep that momentum. Three minutes left on the clock. Score tied at 1-1. This is pretty much for all the marbles if Jaguars aren't able to pull out this dub. The ball's going to float across the midfield into Velocity's defensive territory. 
Milk's pun pop it up to the midfield. Down to Dan. Back to Milk, who flicks it. Cliffs is going to be there. He pops it up. This could be dangerous. Toby's there, but Control is going to send it to the side. Cliffs with a big hit as it's sent all the way down. Milk is going to find the touch, but Control is going to 50 over him. Toby over to Drizzard as it ping-pongs back and forth again. Milk is going to take control of it in the midfield. Gets it past the defender. He's controlling it. Gets it past Control. Over to Toby. Oh, my goodness. What a beautiful pass play. You are you are a filthy, filthy man. I just want to make this clear. Just completely dribbles the whole Jaguars team, and then being the unselfish lad he is, just hands it right off to Tobitai and says, here, finish my light work, son. That is what we like to call a team player right there, someone who just doesn't take credit but likes to include everybody in on the play. That's going to put velocity up 2-1, two to one. two minutes left on the clock. Jaguars have got to be sweating at this point. They need something to stay alive. Toby is going to keep the pressure, send it to the mid, but Drizzard is going to put a boomer on net, but it's going to go a little bit high and get cleared away. Dan being the, doing the third man thing, finding his touch off the sidewall, down to Drizzard, 50s with Drizzard. It could have been dangerous, but Cliffs is going to try and control it a little bit. Milk is going to take it from him in the midfield, down to control. Off the back wall, that could be the angle, and it is. It is Elite, baby, let's go. Nice shot, Elite, right here. Big bame, bame, bang, energy Big drink, bang. sponsor us. Uh, Tobotage, <laughs> not able to make the read, <laughs> and Elite able to read it off the back wall with a great angle right in the net, and we are tied once again. Exactly what, the, what Jaguars needed at this point. Little, only a little bit of time left, sometimes a minute, 20 seconds could seem like so much time, but then other times it can seem like such little amount of time. Cliffs is going to find it in the backfield. He puts it up for Dan. Dan is going to put it on net, but Drizzard is able to clear it. That was very dangerous. Control trying to get in there and get something going. Milk's going to clear that ball to the side. Milk finds another touch. This could be dangerous. Can he get it by Cliffs? He cannot. Cliffs playing a very dangerous game but the patience pays off as he stops it from going into his net cliffs in the midfield finds the touch but milk is up with him balls in the corner toby hits it it's up to the other corner past milk he was awkward control is going to try and find it again but milk's going to knock it down cliffs goes under the ball milk this could be dangerous he's all by himself i'm not sure what happened to the third man there Really, really big commit here by Drizzard with Milk, who is arguably the best dribbler on the Velocity team and just kind of sells out, hoping he won't go towards the net. But Milk just taps it towards the net, and Drizzard essentially just took himself out of the play by being too aggressive. Uh, you hate to see it. I know, how, I know how his heart feels. It probably just sank directly down into his stomach. With only 20 seconds left, that could have been the nail in the coffin for Jaguars right here. They need to pretty much pull the goalie and go full nitrous oxide on this situation and try and make something happen as Milk is going to do everything he can to keep it out in front of his own net. He's going to send it down with only five seconds left. They need something now, and is that it? Oh, it was just wide one second, and it's going to drop. Velocity is going to take this 3-1 fashion. Yeah, and I think we could have been looking at this series different if Jaguars just played that aggressive style the whole game. They were very passive game one and two, and that led to Velocity getting that early lead. And even in this game, I mean, few passive moments were what really led to Velocity's goal outside of Drizzard's over-aggressive moment there at the end. Uh, and real good performance by Jaguars. Good dominant showing by Velocity to keep their... We are number one. We're not going to lose to 10 mentality alive. And great game, great series, fun to watch. And sad we couldn't have a game five, but happy I was here to see it. Definitely agree with you there. It's, it's always a good thing to see the losing team at least be able to pull down one win as opposed to just getting swept out. So congratulations to them on that at least. And congratulations to Velocity, able to go up another win in their record, 4-1 for them. Really appreciate you joining me in the booth tonight, Seabiscuit. Always a pleasure to to lay out some of these spicy meatballs with you, my guy. They are very spicy, and I'm very happy to be here. 
<laughs> and I appreciate and we appreciate everybody here in Nemesis appreciates everybody who shows out to support us on our game days. Remember, if you're not a part of the Discord, join up in the Discord. If you're 14 and at least Diamond 1, I think it's 14, if not 15, and at least Diamond 1, then join up. We got a spot for you on a roster. We want everybody to play. So appreciate you coming out. We'll be back Wednesday with three more hot, hot matches to bring to you. So definitely stick around or come back, I should say. Not stick around. Come back on Wednesday and, and hang out with us again. So appreciate everybody coming out. Bang Energy sponsor us. <laughs>